into the battle Put our armor on, draw our swords Let's run, run to the battle Run, run. Hey dads, do you want to build trust with your children? Okay. Would you really like to reach their hearts? Five words, five words, uh, not 10, five. Five words that you can apply today that will help you right now today and for the rest of your life in reaching the hearts of your kids. Here they are. Listen more and lecture less. Listen more and lecture less. James 1.19 says, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. You know. That James, he's so wise, it's like he was inspired by God or something, right? So, at, But at every age, listening is this powerful tool to unlock the hearts of our kids. Okay, let me paint two scenarios for you. You have one friend who cuts you off every time you tell him something because he already knows what you're going to say, and he cuts you off because he has the perfect answer to your problem. Or, number two, you have a friend who completely listens to you and even asks questions so he can understand more and then chooses to give you some advice. Question for you, which friend do you wanna be around? Of these two, which do you value their opinion more? Most men, when I ask them this question, tell me they value someone who listens to them. They think those friends are wiser and are more likely to take their advice. So then here's the other question, why do most men parrot like the first guy? And then why do we wonder why our kids tune us out the same way we tuned out our parents? Hey, dads, listening opens up powerful pathways to our child's heart. Let me just give you some of the benefits it brings to your child and your relationship with your child. Well, number one, your children feel special when you listen to them. And they feel worthless when you lecture them. Your children will want to be around you when you listen to them. And they'll avoid you when you lecture them. Your children will share their heart with you when you listen to them, and they'll be guarded when you lecture them. Okay, what do you want for your relationship with your child? Do you want a child who feels special, wants to be around you, and shares their heart with you? Or do you want one who feels worthless, avoids you, and is guarded around you? Okay, guess what? You have the power to make either scenario happen by either choosing to listen or to lecture. So, if you want to be a listening parent, what are some steps you can take right now to get started? All right, let me give you two. Number one, ask inquisitive questions with your child. Not yes or no questions, not accusatory questions. Here's what you do. You just start curious and stay curious. One phrase that works great for me a lot. Hey, son or daughter, tell me more about that. Just tell me something. Tell me more. Number two, don't talk about you. Don't answer their stories with your lectures or your stories. Just listen. Make the conversation all about them. Do those two things. They're, not, they're simple, but they're not easy. Just listen more and lecture less. Remember the words of James. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. A critical strategy that will build trust and will help you reach deeply into the hearts of your kids. Run, run to the battle. Put your armor on, draw your sword. Let's run, run to the battle.